Well, I think we deserve them since we've done up some before dawn. And just after New Year's, we've already got the sink broken down and cleaned. station and downstairs you've done five zillion things Crud. we're getting there it's taking a while a lot of crud in every little corner Sneaking our way in here to go update the escape hatches. Got to put the new one in. Let's see how big of a pain in the ass this is going to be. Nice. Well, doesn't look like it'll be too bad. Never know. So good. Uh, at least the nuts are coming off easy enough. Okay. All right, I'm just gonna be up in the general area, kind of organizing shit. Okay. I might. If you hear me uh, yell for you. Yeah, I'll turn the music down it, a little it bit. It sounds uh, abrupt. It does not mean I'm dying. <laughs> I'm gonna need you to come out here. Sir, this is a Wendy's. You can't just ask a driver. <laughs> Yo, lady. Where's my food? Yeah. All right, I'll be out. The chandlerie's closed, so I can't get a heat gun, can't get brake cleaner or anything like that, or some type of lubricant to shove down in there. But what if we take a screwdriver? Somehow get it to where we can rotate the bushing or break the bushing loose inside. So yeah, let's try that. So I got one up. But the handles are seized on the door that I removed from here. Last night, this one side of the boat was super frozen because this safety hatch was open the whole time. So it came to the other side, stole one of the hatches from here, or one of the handles from here, and I can't get the other one off. So it's, uh, it's pretty incomplete. <laughs> the way it's going to be for now at least uh until the on the night the chandlery opens which is the parts store and i'm just going to order three new handles so i can get these things done and replaced we uh yeah we sold our first shirt today day it's january 1 off to a good start <laughs> thank you for whoever bought our first shirt if you made a purchase on december 24th thank you Thank you. We really appreciate that. Mm. Those are kind of a little glance at what we have. Um, designs that I made and Brian made. And um, yeah, a little bit of everything. So. What do you know? As soon as the potatoes start to sizzle. We got these guys showing up. Oh, and there's the third. The two men food. It's called Yeah. Clean Bilges. Bilge water gets very, very cold when it's 40 something degrees at night. I think it's nice and cold. Socks are soggy. All both showers, both bathrooms are clean. And we just have that bedroom to go. And that bedroom. And then we're good. Oh, and then up here. <laughs> I'm not worried about that today though. That's not a today thing. All the condensation is just, I think, the hardest thing to get rid of. And then with the condensation, you get mold wherever the condensation is just hanging out. 
got rid of a lot of the water so I think the condensation should be getting better now. So go get some groceries today. I think it's like a five mile walk. One way. Shouldn't be too bad. I mean I got cows. One of the cool things when you're walking everywhere is you get to you get to see all the cool stuff that you drive by that you never knew about. Blackberries. This whole road is full of blackberry bushes. They're, most of them don't look ripe yet, but I bet you they will be in a week. to walk through the tunnel. We just got denied in a very loud way. I was just told no people are allowed to walk through. I think you take a bus, taxi. What are, what's for dinner? Do I get to know yet? No, I'm just going to put on the plate because there are no words for it. No words at all. It's stuffed with goop and things and lentils. Because what have you been eating this whole time? Lentils. lentils. But now I know we have fava beans. Thank you, Google Translate. We had lentils every night? I don't know. Maybe. Oh, I mean, I love lentils, and we have, like, four spices, so that's, like, 30 <laughs> possibilities of arrangements. Ooh. Free. I just like how it's like, oh, lentils, so healthy, it's so expensive, eat healthy. Here we are, stuck with four ingredients. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we're on land still. Yeah, so we're on land. So today I went and grabbed a couple gallons of gas. Katie and I dropped the dinghy, got it all prepped and ready, got the motor filled with fuel, put it on a scaffolding cart that they have here, which they use to work on the side of your boat and stuff like that. We're going to push the dinghy in the cart down to the marina and then over 50 yards to drop it in the water so we can more or less have a car and we can then dinghy across the bay. We looked into the town that is the opposite way and it's a two hour walk, which is fine, but they don't have all the stuff that we need. It's supposed to rain next week, at least for a couple days, and we don't know if that's going to be a continuous thing all next week. So we figured we might as well go get, you know, a good load of groceries uh, while we have the dinghy in the water and and, uh, yeah, it should be a fun adventure, don't you think? Adventure! <laughs> yeah, looks like it. It feels like when you're supposed to show up to a party. And you're the first one there. Because there's no one else around and the host stepped out to go grab the last bag of chips. girl worked her butt off <laughs> the last couple days getting us clean Get rid of the mildew and, and all the water in the bilges, the freezing all cold. The, all the water, all the it's just muck from sitting around. Who wants to swim in muck? No one! Hi! Testies, testies, one, two. Welcome back to the neighborhood. <laughs> We're just normal people doing normal people stuff. <laughs> All right, if you could hand me the new one. Katie! You're awesome. No, you're awesome. <laughs> 